Letters to lovers that I've never had. Pressed inside books, preserved like autumn leaves, are letters to the lovers that I've never had. And some nights I find these stories more interesting than the chapters they hold. One. My temptress in red. You who causes my heart to question, makes me wish for the right temptation to make a bad decision. My temptress in red. You ever realize how my eyes shine staring at you? The glow of dreams. Us walking hand in hand into black eyed crowded streets knowing you are the only thing keeping me sane. My temptress in red. I'll give you my heart if I could. Two. We should have gotten together a long time ago. My fearful heart held my longing tongue so that you would never know that at nights I gripped my pillow wishing it was you knowing it'd never be though cause let's be honest here. You're too good for me. So I'm stuck writing line after line and poem after never for your ears. But if the message ever gets across, just remember, I meant every word. Three. I don't know you. But I would like to. Four. You were my best friend's girl. Not really. But we had crushes on you at the same time, so I decided to pursue other interests. Always watching you from afar. You see, I was there. For every backlash word you aimed at yourself, I was there with kind words. Try to reach the soul that attracted me in the first place. I was through everything I said, I don't believe I ever told you how beautiful you are. Five, you are still one of the most beautiful women that I've ever met. Six, first time I saw you, I wanted you. Our glass eyes met, but I was only looking at your hand. It looked warm. You looked so warm. So on cold nights, I still press my knees to my chest, pretending that you open your features to better textures that I'll never get to touch. Seven. You bitch. You wicked little twat. The first time I expressed myself to anyone was to you. And you ran away. Do you know what that does to a ten-year-old's heart? Some, I guess Shakespeare said it best. A rose by any other name. That was your name. Now it has me fear and bouquets. God can only see the thorn. Thorns. Thorns that drip blood. Blood that writes these letters. Letters that I read in books that leave me alone. Hope you're doing well. Sincerely, Atticus.